Hi students, have you ever wondered why we keep on insisting to read previous year questions? Because these are the questions that have been asked to you by your examiners and that gives you a very good insight as to what can come or what can you expect in the future exams. It's like peeking into the pitch of a, a cricket match before you actually start the game. It gives you a lot of information and an example of that is what we are going to discuss here. A man was eating food at a restaurant and suddenly started choking. What will be the next step in the management? Okay, so somebody is eating food and they are choking. They are asking what is the next step in the management? Perform blind finger sweep, remove food particle, high imlix, maneuver, CPR, chest compressions and back blows. Chest compressions and back blows, right? So somebody is eating at a restaurant and happens to choke. So this is a classical case of choking under any circumstance. And this is a surrogate topic of a topic of CPR, which we all know is one of the most important topics for your exam. So somebody is choking and if the person is awake, or responsive that means they're still telling you that there is something wrong with them so what you will do is you will perform sub diaphragmatic thrusts which is also called as Heimlich's maneuver so you will put a fist below their sternum below the ribs at the level of diaphragm and you will give compression in the hope that the foreign body will be expelled out right only if the age of the patient is more than one year suppose somebody less than one year chokes on a food very rare but it can happen then you will give five back blows and five chest compressions five back blows and five chest compressions alternatively so you will give five back blows followed by five chest compressions this is a classical example of choking or foreign body obstruction so you will perform heimlich maneuver now why are we discussing this question because next time when they ask you this question they will simply add the word and the patient is non-responsive so they will give you the exact same question, but they will add patient is non-responsive. The patient if non-responsive after a foreign body points towards cardiac arrest. And whenever there is cardiac arrest, you don't care about the foreign body. What you will do is CPR. So remember this one small change in the word of the question will change the answer. We are going to discuss lot many of these particular topics in this exam which are going to be coming for you. We are bringing to you an amazing session called as PYQ Ka Bap. We are going to discuss lot of previous year questions which are very very important and we will go into the insight of the examiner for you. So that when the question in the exam comes which you have seen or you have heard, you don't directly jump to the answer based on your memory but you try to understand what is that the examiner is changing this time. So it was going to start from 13th of February. It will be free for all the students. It will be on our eMedicos app and I will see you on the Valentine's Day on 14th Feb at 1 p.m. And we are going to discuss very exciting questions in anesthesia. So see you all on 14th of February and all the best to you guys. Thank you.